Hey Chris, welcome to my channel. This is Chelsea. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I really appreciate your love and support and I hope all is well with everyone. Today we are going to find out what are your important love messages. Please bear in mind that this is a general reading and it may not apply to each and every one of you. All right, spirits and angels, please show me important, accurate love messages for Aquarius today. I see an ending here, Ten of Swords. Perhaps you are separated from somebody right now, Chris. Please bear in mind that roles can be reversed in this reading. Could either be the person whom you are thinking about or dealing with, or it could be you, okay? So we've got the, again, Ten of Swords indicates a separation or an ending that was very, very painful. And we've got the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Cups here. All right, so in this may indicate somebody feeling like they need somebody here, okay? A little bit of a codependency energy that I'm getting here. With the Page of Cups, this may indicate somebody wanting to apologize or offer love. Another scenario I'm seeing here, Chris, if you are, if you are single, you are going to uh, get an offer of love here with the Page of Cups. This person may be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. I'm sensing could also be younger than you are. So you got the Six of Swords, Six of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. Um, Chris, for some of you, I feel like someone may be um, taking actions towards you, okay? Moving towards Kama Water, trying to make peace with you. And because they don't want you to be a missed opportunity or that they see you as a missed opportunity. Again, roles can be switched. It could either be you or your, uh, this person, okay? And with the Seven of Swords, someone is trying to sneak their way back into your life or maybe it could be you, okay? But Nine of Wands is here. I do sense uh, there is some sort of uh, distrust here, okay? Someone is not trusting somebody because the way the Nine of Wands is looking at the Seven of Swords here, uh, I feel like because if you look at the Nine of Wands, the head is has got a bandage, right? So that means somebody was hurt and this is why they don't trust somebody, okay? It could be you not trusting a person or your person not trusting you or just have no trust in general when it comes to love, finding it really hard to, you know, trust anybody. So we got the devil here and we've got the empress in reverse. I would say that uh, there is an energy of somebody actually um, has, I don't know what I'm hearing, like sacrificed a partner, a partner that was supposed to be really good, um, a partner is supposed to be a lifetime partner, uh, sacrifice that partner to indulge in something, okay? Indulge in whether it's temptation with the devil here, could be an affair or lying, cheating, manipulation, this is a very specific it's just for some of you, but Aquarius, I feel like the devil can also indicate somebody still um, still feel very connected to you, but I feel like this connection is most likely very unhealthy or um, toxic, okay? But with the Ace of Wands here in reverse, I, I'm also sensing someone here is realizing as well what they did. And with the Ace of Wands in reverse also, has something to do with temptation. I feel like someone may have been tempted in the past. They could have cheated, could have lied, and this is why the betrayal card is here with the Ten of Swords. But I do sense somebody wanting to make things right. And the Knight of Pentacles here, it could be dealing with a Virgo Capricorn Taurus. I do sense somebody wanting to um, offer commitment, wanting to apologize. However, I feel like someone may look at it as the Page of Pentacles in reverse, like it's not good enough, or maybe this person is not sincere uh, or not honest, okay? Or that this person needs to grow up. A little bit of a childish energy here or immaturity. So let's see more. And I feel like someone also have has their guards up. I mean, rightfully so, because, you know, this person may have lied, may have cheated, may have done anything, right? The devil indicates manipulation as well, or addiction, any sorts of addiction, or it could mean uh, being abusive as well. Could be anything, but most likely I feel like majority of you, this person may have lied or cheated on you, or it could go vice versa, it could be you instead, all right? The tower is in reverse, and also we've got the fool here. For me, hmm. The fool actually indicates somebody taking risks, taking chances, okay? And 
it's like whatever will be will be kind of an uh, kind of a, an energy that I'm getting here and because of that because of that this could have caused the separation here again I feel like the fool also may indicate somebody wanting to take a new leap of faith with you or you wanting to take a new leap of faith with them. This tower is in reverse here. So for me, this either may indicate somebody delaying the tower moment or that somebody wanting to undo the damages that they could have done in the past and, you know, let's start over kind of energy. And also it got the moon here in reverse. I feel like the moon in reverse has something to do with somebody just finally realizing something, right? Something that they were confused about or unsure about or have fear, insecurities about. I feel like someone is liberating themselves from these uh, feelings. It could be you or it could be your person. Hmm. Let's see more. Chris, Spirit's definitely telling you with the Fool here. This is your reading, right? So the Fool, the Devil, I feel like Spirit's definitely saying to release anything that is toxic or negative in your life. And perhaps that will make you much happier, all right? Because the Fool to me is a very positive card. Uh, happiness, taking chances in life, and having faith, okay? Also indicates innocence. Mm. And Spirit is also saying that if you are thinking about liberating yourself from somebody, freeing yourself from somebody, or even traveling or go do something on your own, um, it's definitely uh, a good thing, all right? So we've got the Seven of Pentacles here and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, as well as the Nine of Cups here in reverse. There's somebody here waiting, okay? Waiting for you or you could be waiting for somebody. Somebody could be waiting for an offer here of a commitment. And I feel like it could be delayed uh, because somebody still needs to figure something out and be less selfish. And we've got the Knight of Wands here in reverse. Yeah, most likely I feel crazy. A lot of cards here that indicate the devil, you know, like cheating and lying scenario, right? Seven of Swords, the devil, and the Knight of Wands here in reverse, and even the Ace of Pentacles here in reverse. And the Fool is also somebody whom is really, really hard to... Uh, commit okay they like their freedom so somebody here it could be you or your person is so used to having their freedom and that and this is why they find it really hard to commit but I do sense a commitment uh, being offered to you okay or it could be you offering it to this person either or but again the Empress is in reverse so I do sense someone is very devastated because they feel like they have given their all to this connection but yet and this is this is what they get <laughs> okay uh this is what they receive it's a page of pentacles in reverse that means uh very little to none all right aquarius this is your reading hope you resonated if you did please hit like share and subscribe i'm gonna leave you with a video on the screen right now this is a video from my second vlog channel if you're interested to check it out and also i'm open for personal readings if you guys would like to book me my information is in the description box below and of course i post your videos almost every single day if you'd like to be notified every time when i post your videos don't forget to hit on the bell notification button all right take care Chris. bye